This week, I've been thinking a lot about animal intelligence and sometimes the human lack of it. As scientists search the cosmos for intelligent life, using everything from spaceships and telescopes to radio waves, I wonder if they would even recognize it if it jumped up and slapped them in the face. There is, after all, a host of intelligent life here on Earth that we know almost nothing about. I guess it really should come as no surprise that humans place themselves at the top of the intellectual pyramid relative to every other living thing on the planet. I mean, this is just the sort of thing that people do. And I'm guessing that if maybe barn owls, for example, were doing the judging, that barn owls might end up at the top of the heap too. People always seem to think that whatever group they belong to, it's got to be the best one. Teenagers think they know more than adults. Adults know they're better off than their offspring. Superiority battles are similarly drawn over demographics such as gender, religion, race, sexual orientation, and virtually every other factor from which people can create a definable group in which to include themselves, and of course exclude others. The battle of the sexes seems almost universal, as are many others, leading me to conclude that this superiority complex is somehow hardwired in our species. It's like it's built right in, part of the hardware, so to speak. Humans have used all kinds of irrational logic to support our superiority to other creatures' belief. Everything from our opposable thumbs to our use of tools and our ability to communicate with each other. Upon closer inspection, however, these arguments just don't hold water. After all, if opposable digits were a measure of intelligence, wouldn't it follow that monkeys and apes are superior to humans because they have opposable thumbs and toes? As humans began learning more about the tool-making abilities of other species, for everything from food collection to nest building, we had to downplay this whole tool discussion, relying more heavily on our ability to communicate but current research has been finding more evidence of complex communication taking place in other species, kind of putting a damper on that argument, too. Take Coco the gorilla that learned American Sign Language and eventually adapted her own version known as Gorilla Sign Language, or GSL. It turns out that she was able to learn sign language easily because wild gorillas have a natural gestural language of their own. This gestural language, oddly enough, contains many gestures and expressions that have been found to be universal in human cultures, suggesting that communication is a skill we developed before we were even people. Has any of this newfound information affected the way people see themselves in relationship to other animals? Overall, probably not, because the human desire for superiority is not about data or information. After all, humans declared our lofty position thousands of years ago based on pure speculation and conjecture and without really understanding much about the other species that share the planet. There are countless undocumented species currently sharing our world about which we know basically nothing, yet we've chosen to teach our kids that we clearly know better than all of them. Perhaps someday the study of animal intelligence will evolve to a point where humans have a clear and objective method for knowing what's going on in the lives of other species. Until that day, I think it's more accurate for people to admit that in effect we really have no clue, and that any claim of superiority to other species is driven simply by human vanity.